Ukrainian's President Volodymyr Zelensky has admitted that Russia is making progress in parts of the contested Donbass region. He's described some of the fighting there as hell. At the same time, both sides appear to be gearing up for an escalating conflict in the south. Ukraine is looking to take back the strategic city of Kherson before its Russian occupiers hold a possible referendum on its status next month. Our correspondent Andrew Harding has been to the front line just west of Kherson and sent this report. An exposed road near the front line. Ukrainian trenches to one side. Then the carcass-like ruins of a newly liberated village. It's like stepping back a century into the desolation of World War I. A world of underground bunkers and unpredictable skies. This village is eerily empty. Only the dogs here and the soldiers are having to be very careful about what we film here so we don't give away the Ukrainian positions. They're very wary about their security after months under pretty much constant Russian bombardment, Russian drones overhead as well. But here, near the Black Sea coast, Ukraine is starting to claw back territory and to gear up for a much bigger push. A weary smile from a soldier named Phoenix. His unit has taken heavy losses here. We don't underestimate the Russians, he says. But the enemy is struggling with supplies and reinforcements now. Yes, we can feel that. Ukraine is certainly making lots of noise about an imminent counter-offensive in the south. Videos like this one trumpeting the destruction of Russian supply lines. And just across the front lines, in the strategic Russian-occupied city of Kherson, anticipation is growing. We spoke to this Ukrainian journalist who's hiding in Kherson and hoping the city will soon fall. We're happy, says Konstantin Ryzhenko, when we hear the Ukrainian bombs exploding closer, because that means our troops are getting nearer to us. Perhaps they are. But remember, this is a vast front line, and both sides are trying to trick each other about their real military intentions. No wonder Ukraine's soldiers play down talk of a quick victory. We know the Russians are bringing more reinforcements to this area, says Sergei Belinsky. On our side, we do now have accurate Western weapons, but nowhere near enough. That phrase has become Ukraine's lament, not enough weapons. And so for now, the Russian bombs keep falling in the south, on the front lines and on cities like Mykolaiv. Ukraine is promising a decisive counter-attack, but it's not there yet. Andrew Harding, BBC News in southern Ukraine.